Welcome. In this video, we will learn about NumPy array concatenation, reshape, and splitting. First of all, we will learn about concatenation of two-day array. When you want to concatenate two-day array, you are to write np dot concatenate, then first array name, second array name, then the axis. By default, the axis is zero for concatenation. So when we write this, it will concatenate these two arrays on zero axis. So this will be the resultant array. Let us understand it with the help of an example. So these are two arrays, array one and array two. So I write here np dot concatenate. So in the bracket, I will write array one and array two. And I don't write any axis over here. When I run this command, my two arrays will be concatenated on zero axis. If I write axis equals to zero, it still give me the same result. That means by default concatenation is done on axis zero. It is very important to understand that whenever you do concatenation, you have to make sure that the dimensions does not mismatch. For example, if you look at this scenario, array one has three columns, but array two has two columns. So when you concatenate, this will happen. So there are no rows under the column three. So it will result into error. This is incorrect. Let us see that with the help of an example. So in this example, what I do from the second array, I just re remove the third column. So when I run this command and try to concatenate, it will give me the error which says that all the input array dimensions for the concatenation axis must match exactly, right? So that is why it gives me the error. So it should be kept in mind that the dimension should not mismatch. Coming to the another part, if we use axis one over here, in that case, axis one means columns. So now the concatenation will be done like this. I just put over here one and run this. And now you can observe that it has concatenated on axis one. Again, if we have dimension mismatch, this will also result into an error. So while doing concatenation, you should keep this in thing in your mind that the dimension should not mismatch. The next part is reshaping an array. Whenever you reshape an array, total number of elements cannot be changed. If you try to change the total number of elements, it will give you error. So this is our array. Let us find the size of this array. I will write np dot size and then array. So the size of this array is six. Whenever you are reshaping the array, you have to keep in mind that the multiple of the arguments which you are passing should not be more than six. So what we will do, we will write the array name and then reshape and I will write one comma six. So it will give me an array of size 
1 comma 6 it is a two dimensional array because there are two square brackets i can also write 2 comma 3 because the multiple of 2 comma 3 is 6 so it will give me this array i can also write 3 comma 2 and it will give me this array this way you can write anything which makes multiple of 6. This is how you can reshape an array. Now we will see that how we can split an array. We can split an array using split method. You have to write array name and then the number of splits. Here we are splitting one dimensional array. So when we will run this our array will be like this. So now we will write over here np dot split and then we will write array name and then number of splits. So our array has two splits. Similarly, if we want to split this array into three parts, we can do it. If we have another value over here, you can see this another value will not allow the split because we cannot split this array in three equal parts because of one more value. So it will give you an error, right? The error is array split does not result in equal division. Now you can also split an array using a argument like this. So what do you mean by this argument? 1 comma 4 means split the array like this. First split using the index colon 1. Then another split using the index 1 colon 4 and the last one is 4 colon. So this means that 1 here then we have 1 colon 4 then 4 colon. If we split using 1 comma 4 comma 6 that means colon 1, 1 colon 4, 4 colon 6 and 6 colon. Let us see this in detail. For example, we have these values and these are the index of these values. So what will happen? This is what you will get. This is colon 1 that means from index position 0 to 1 it is just like slicing then we have 1 colon 4 that means 1 2 and 3 the last this 4 will not be included and then we have 4 colon that means starting from index position 4 till last. So that is why we have 35 and 47. Let us see this with the help of an example. Now here I will write 1 comma 3 and this will give me these values. So these values are according to what we have learned right now. We can also put over here if we want another argument and this will happen. So this is how we can split a one dimensional array. So now we will learn about how we can split a two dimensional array. So whenever we want to split a two dimensional array, we require an extra argument that is axis. By default, the axis is set to zero. 
So this is our array. So when I use this split, this will split the array like this. So the first one is colon one. That means only index zero of the row. Then we have one colon two. That means only this row and then we have two onwards so this is how it will split the array so this is our two dimensional array so what i can do i just need to put over here axis equals to 0 and when i run this it gives me the array as discussed earlier. I can also skip this. And this shows that by default, axis is set to zero. Next one is when we use axis one, it split the array like this. That means now the array is split using the axis one and this means colon one this means one colon two and this means two colon so this is how the result will be shown to you so we can check it over here and just write over here axis equals to 1 and this is how the results will be shown to you that means 0 to 1 it will only show one column 1 colon 2 it will show only one column that is of index position 1 and then 2 colon that means it will show the rest of the columns starting from 2 so this is how we can split our array. Thanks for now. See you in the next video.